Once again, we have two similar polygons. Notice that one of them is sitting inside of another. In other words, this one right here, I'm just going to kind of highlight it, right? I'm going to highlight it pink. Right, this is inside of another triangle that's similar. Now, what I've done is notice in your um, review, they've given you some side measures, right? They give you one for this top piece, and then they give you a side measure for the bottom piece. So if we wanted the whole distance, we'd have to add 4 plus 2. So if I want to know what the measure of the whole side, going all the way down, all the way to the bottom of it, then I would simply take the 4, and add the 2 to it and that would give me 6. So this measure from the top all the way down to the bottom of the triangle will be 6. Over here on this side that we see, right, we could do the same thing if we wanted to put it together. We could say y plus 3 gives us this whole side of the triangle over here. Now we are going to try to find y, this value right here, and we're also going to try to find x, which is this value right here. So let's go ahead and set up our first proportion. Um, I think we are going to solve for y first, and then we'll come back and we'll solve for x. Now as always, before I get too far, I'm going to go ahead and label this little triangle my first shape, and I'm going to label the bigger triangle my second shape. And when I set up my proportion to solve this, I'm going to put everything for my second shape in the numerator and everything from my first shape in the denominator. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to highlight some things. So we're looking at the second shape. So what I want to do for the second shape, I need this whole side over here, right? And that whole side gives me a positive six, right? Because I got to add those two together. So that's going to be six. And then for my second shape, this value that goes across, I'm going to use my pink highlighter, is 6. So I'm also going to put a 6 there. And next, I want to go ahead with my first shape. Now, this yellow side over here, right, which goes along, and I should have put it, let me highlight this yellow. That's going to be my yellow side. This is going to be my pink side. So this yellow side for just a small triangle is a 4. So for my first shape, it is a 4. And then if I go over here to the 6, right, the long pink side, the side that is proportional with it of the smaller triangle is the one that says X. It's also pink. So I'm going to go ahead and write an X right there. Now that I got this set up, we're just going to go ahead and cross multiply real quick. So I'm going to have 4 times 6. And that is going to give me 24. And then I'm going to cross multiply the 6 and the x. And that's going to give me 6x. And then if I divide by 6 on both sides, I end up with x is equal to 4. So in this case, x is 4. So I'm just going to go ahead and write that up here at the top as well. x is equal to 4. Now we still have another variable we got to solve for, right? We got to solve for this y. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to set that one up as well. So I am going to highlight this side orange, make it a different color. So we're looking at y. And we'll go ahead and keep the same thing. I'll do everything for the second shape in my numerator this time and everything for the first shape in my denominator. So on my second shape, I'm going to go ahead and say 2 for my yellow. And then on the orange side, I have a 3. And then for my pink shape, I have a 4. And then I have a Y. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to cross multiply these numbers, just like before. So I have 2 times Y, that gives me 2Y. And then I have 4 times 3, that gives me 12. And then I divide by 2 on both sides to get rid of the coefficient in front of y. And I end up with y is equal to 
6. So I'm going to go ahead and go up here and write a 6.